Hey Aquarius, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. This is for those of you with Aquarius placements in your chart. Tell the truth Thursday, what do you need to hear today? I'm going to get some finance, um, some money messages for y'all. Get that out of the way, but I'm also going to do, um, this is going to be mostly about love. So we'll see like who's coming towards you, how they're feeling about you, how you're feeling about them. So forth and so on. So if you have Aquarius placements, this could resonate. Can't promise it's going to resonate for everyone. So only take what is your story. Later up for someone else, y'all don't try to force it to fit. The right people at the right time hear what they're supposed to hear. So even if all you do is take inspiration away from the reading, motivation away from the reading, that is what spirit has designed it to be. You know, all I do is my job. I don't pretend to be God. Although I understand I am a co-creator in my life. And I'm trying to um, help you all to tap into your own divinity. I also understand my limitations as a human being, right? Okay, so let's get some um, three messages about your finances and your career. What do you need to hear right now? And then we're going to move on. We have performance anxiety. It says doubting yourself, lacking confidence. Um, some of you can have Leo placements. Hmm. Interesting. Then we have, you may specialize in a profession centered around education, whether in a traditional or unconventional sense. You may soon find yourself teaching or lecturing on a subject near and dear to your heart. Some of y'all may have some, some kind of speaking engagement coming up and you could be a bit fearful about um, talking in front of a crowd or something like that. Then we have um, the chariot, number seven. This is cancer energy. You can have cancer placements in your chart. It says your focus and your ambition will carry you far. Be clear of your goals and go for it. Focus on your end goal. You can overcome financial obstacles at this time. Clear up your financial debts. It's time. Now is a great time for financial investments and purchases. Quality control jobs could be something you're into. Networking, software, transportation, and auditors. Okay. So. Hmm. So it's fair to say that if you're thinking about making some kind of investment, I always tell you all, I can't give you financial advice on here because I can't be liable for whatever could come as a result of that. But follow your instincts, follow your gut. If you're thinking about making investments, now is a great um, time for financial investments and purchases. So maybe some of you are thinking about purchasing something that you've been putting off, doubtful about. Um, it says doubting yourself. So some of you may not be feeling very confident for some reason in your career. But Spirit is saying to go for it. Some of you are going to be speaking soon. And you may not be a traditional teacher, but you may be someone who teaches in the spiritual um, sense or some kind of unconventional belief system. Okay, that's it. I'm, I'm moving on because either that resonates or it doesn't. Let's keep going because I don't want to talk too long. Y'all know I don't like these long readings. Okay, let's get a shadow and light message to see what's going on in your life and your connection. Um, what does Aquarius need to hear? One more shuffle, one more shuffle. What do you need to hear? So many questions. Some of you, either you or your person could be an investigator or, of some sort or a detective. It says fear, doubt, worry, deception, getting to know someone, spying, snooping, lies, tests, interviewing, probing, research, figuring it out confused or curious okay and this is Libra Aquarius Gemini energy so some of y'all are this could be like the page of swords here you may be a bit guarded right now maybe there's someone around you you don't fully trust you have your guards up we're gonna see what that's about okay spirit what, what are so many questions about what are so many questions about Aquarius so many questions Y'all doing y'all research on somebody about something? You may be doubting something that someone told you. Two of Pentacles. You feel like somebody's juggling you. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Some of you could be on a Capricorn Aquarius cusp. Financial decisions. Knight of Pentacles. 
Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn coming out here. Could it have something to do with your money? Maybe this is going back to the doubt that you have. You have so many questions, fears, worries, and doubts. You feel like somebody's deceiving you. You feel like somebody's juggling you. Maybe someone's in another long-term connection or you are in a long-term connection. Yeah, some of you are in a long-term connection with someone. Could be a Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Someone you've been with for a very long time here. <clears throat> Maybe you're tired of this connection. What in the world? Okay, so what is the Nine of Wands? This talks about boundaries. So you have your, your guards up with somebody. This is guarded energy with the Nine of Wands. You got two of wands. You feel like somebody is trying to choose between you and someone, or this is your energy. Could be an Aries. Look at this. Ace of wands. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a fire sign. The Ace of wands is all about chemistry. It's all about passion and creativity. This could be a project, or this could be um, love. Is this a project, or is this love? Because it could be either with those all these cards that have come out. They could be love or they could be career oriented. You do have two pentacle cards, which can talk about your money. It's love. The page of cups is on top. Someone that you're infatuated with. Oh, yeah, you got the son. This guy has nothing to do with the child or like maybe the mother or father of your child here. Leo energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Sagittarius coming out again. A lot of you are like taking your time. You're not being hasty here with the temperance. It's like you have strong feelings for someone, but you are taking your time before you make a decision or you're watching them and wondering what they really got going on. They put you in a third party situation. Look at this. Nine of Swords could be a Gemini. Y'all are worried. That's worry. Page of Wands. It could be a younger fire sign. You're worried about somebody's fidelity. If they're being honest with you about something here. Okay. So those are some of the signs that could be coming towards you. Let's see what's going on. We're going to get some oracle cards as well, y'all. Bear with me because this is not completely clear to me just yet. So let's see. What's going on here? You got so many questions. You're doubting somebody. Okay. All right, Aquarius, let's, let's do this. How is your person feeling about you? <laughs> we got the death card, the five of pentacles, and the five of wands. Wow, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with any of those signs. What is going on? Some of y'all broke up with somebody. Somebody feels left out in the cold. So this is how they feel about you. I don't know if they feel like you've left them out in the cold or they left you out in the cold. But y'all been fighting. There's been a conflict. There's been a conflict. What is the um, five wands? What's the fighting about? Temperance and the page of pentacles. Some of y'all are tired of fighting. They may feel like you're tired of fighting. You got the temperance coming out again. Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person could be younger than you. doesn't have to be. But that's just, I don't know. There's a feeling of maybe somebody taking you for granted, neglecting you. The Page of Pentacles can talk about someone neglecting you because they have a financial opportunity or they're focused on their career. They're very ambitious. You could have clashed with this person. The Five of Wands is about clashing. But I feel like if you did, a lot of you have kind of like, Taking a hands-off approach to this. What's the page of pentacles? Page of pentacles is good news in your finances. A new financial opportunity. Somebody could be in school. The page of pentacles is a student. Ace of pentacles. Somebody's money is coming between you two. New job, new financial opportunity, windfall of abundance or wealth, it says. Both of these are about giving a gift. Okay, y'all. So there's an ending because someone left you out in the cold. Five of Pentacles can talk about homelessness, joblessness. Is that right? Joblessness? Being unemployed, because I don't even know if that's a word. Um, feeling like you don't belong, feeling like you don't fit in. So something ended because someone no longer felt, felt like they fit into the equation anymore. Maybe someone took their love elsewhere because the Pentacle, the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles 
it's pointing away from everything else that's going on. It's like somebody may have gone in a new direction. Yeah, there's been some deception. Aquarius, this is your energy with the Seven of Swords. This talks about someone being dishonest, a cheater, a liar, a thief, a con artist, a scam artist. Somebody could have stole some money from you. Stolen some money from you. It could be a Taurus, could be another Aquarius. Oh yeah, y'all really ready to get away from somebody. Aquarius energy again. Are you dealing with another Aquarius? Look at this. Choosing a different path here. Some of y'all are ready to be single. You're tired of working too hard for this connection. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what is going on. This literally is all over the place. Okay, so let's keep going. How are you feeling about this person? Let's see if we get any. Some of you have a family with this person. It could be a Pisces or some of you could be on Aquarius. Pisces cusp. We have two Pisces cards and a Capricorn card. So you could be on the cusp of Capricorn Aquarius or Aquarius Pisces. Or dealing with someone who is. There is a connection here that you were in. You possibly live with this person, have children with this person, could even be married to this person. But it feels very, very uncertain right now. There's some secrets. There's some hiding. There's, there's some illusions going on here. What in the world? What's the moon? Temperance coming out again. Y'all have so many questions. Y'all are really doubting this. It's like you want to just really move really slow. I feel like you're already connected and been connected for a long time. But something about you is changing how you behave, how you interact with this person. It's not the same anymore. It's like you, you saw something or you sensed something. You got questions about something. You feel like they're hiding something from you. What are they hiding? Because they ain't even hiding from me. What is... Okay. What's the temperance for Aquarius? Why is Aquarius feeling like this about their person? Why? King of Wands? King of Wands is a, is a leader. He's passionate. He's confident. He's attractive. He's a boss. He's powerful. Courageous. Charismatic. This is about attraction. Okay, so some of you is the Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius that you have a strong attraction to. I mean, the King of Wands, you know, can be narcissistic, a lot about ego. You feel like this person's ego got in the way here. Yeah, you got the Five of Wands. Again, some of you are definitely a Leo. The Emperor at the bottom of the deck. You feel like this person is bossy, could be an Aries. You feel like they're controlling. What are they? Okay, let's see. What are they hiding? Let's see what they're hiding. What are they hiding? The Two of Pentacles comes out again. The Emperor comes out again. And the Six of Pentacles. Some of them are given to more than one person. Taurus, Aries, Capricorn energy. They've been given to someone else. Let's keep going. Um, What's happening next between the two of you? We got the Queen of Swords. A lot of y'all don't want to talk to them anymore because you're like, you need to answer my questions. You, you've got questions. It's, it's so many questions. This is about an analytical woman. The Queen of Swords. Leave a Christ, Gemini. This is your energy. So you're coming out as someone who's like ready to have really, really honest dialogue. Not mincing your words. You got a little bit of chip on your shoulder here. And you want some answers to some questions. But I feel like somebody is being like really arrogant and like not wanting to answer your questions. Because they're not even wanting to answer my questions. Tower, a lot of you are ready to walk away from this person or you already have. Could be an Aries, could be a Scorpio, Knight of Swords. You, have, you want communication and it's coming in. And it may be something that you don't want to hear, some, some brutal truth here. Cherry, this coming in quick. You got the two fastest card in the tarot deck following each other. Could be a Cancer, leave, uh, another air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Look at this. Somebody's been holding back from you. But Spirit is saying, I'm in control. And all of this is going to be brought to light. This is a shift. This is a change. This is upheaval. This is fate. This is destiny. Um, some of you could be traveling. Maybe just got a new car or thinking about getting a new car. Maybe a person did. Maybe they're traveling. Maybe something happened while they were traveling. A fixed sign, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. Another fixed sign because you are a fixed sign. Seven of Cups. Somebody has some options here. It could be a Scorpio. They want to come back. They want to come back. You get the death card again. After a breakup, this person wants to come back. Okay. <clears throat> this is very long. And this is very much not really answering my questions. I see why you have so many questions. So do I. Your person is very secretive. Some of you may be dealing with another air sign. 
or fixed sign that's just not budging. They don't want to tell me. They don't want to tell you. <laughs> okay, let's see. What's the blockage between you two? The Three of Cups. Y'all, I feel like somebody in their energy could be a Cancer. They reconnected with recently or... It's just hard for you two to get back together. Maybe they have a third party here. The Three of Cups can represent a third party. Somebody they were having fun with. They could have been out partying, drinking, and ended up taking things to another level with someone that they said is just a friend. But you saying she's just a friend? Yep. Could be an ex, Scorpio, and Aries. The tower coming out again. Y'all are definitely broken up with this person. <clears throat> definitely broken up with this person or thinking about it. I feel like somebody took your kindness for weakness here. I see the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you put a lot of effort into it. Yeah, a lot of them started something with someone from their past. And maybe even someone that they called a friend and didn't tell you the truth that they maybe already had a romantic past or they developed one. Let's move on to some messages because this I can't. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. What's going on, Spirit? What's going on with the third side? We have yes. Okay. I think I'm going to do the rest of my readings a little bit different. Because this, this one threw me for a loop. We have I am coming trust. And we have you are wrong. Bottom of the deck, we have I'm sorry. See, some of y'all, this person did you wrong. You're like, you're wrong. Um, they're saying they're sorry about doing you wrong. But they're still coming back your way. I told you they want a new beginning with the fool. Well, some of you, that may be you, because that's your card, Aquarius. Look at this. You're like, God is in control. A lot of you are holding your feelings back for this person. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Taurus. Another fixed sign. Bottom of the deck, you got the temperance again. You are definitely healing. You're like being patient. You're like, until I know the answers to these questions, you don't have anything coming from me. Because I need to make sure that I don't lose my peace. This is someone being very calm and peaceful and serene. Um, going with the flow. That's what that represents. Like just kind of like taking things in stride right now. Not putting too much stock in this person's words. You know. It's like you're going to have to prove to me. Because I don't trust you. I have so many questions. Okay. Let's see. What do they want to say? I want to be different. So they feel like they messed up. They're sorry. And they, they want to show you that they can be different. Uh, I don't know, y'all. Will this change? They want to know if you'll take them back. And why can't I tell you the truth? See, look at that. They've been lying. I can't take it anymore. That's you. A lot of you are frustrated with this person and the way things have gone here. I remember to write down the titles to these videos because I always forget then I have to go back and listen and I don't feel like listening. <laughs> I don't even edit that way anymore. It's too time consuming. We have, uh, you put me in a third party situation so I bowed, bowed out gracefully. Yeah, that may be your title. Long distance relationship. Some of you are at a distance from this person. I'm really into you. This is what they want you to know. I feel like a lot of you were into them. As the days go by, it gets harder to deny my feelings for you. My heart is full and overflowing with love for you. I'm working up the courage to express it to you. We had the strength card come out a couple of times. This person is holding back or maybe you're holding back, but they're trying to work up the carriage. And we have immediately the chariot coming out again. Something is about to change quickly or something has changed quickly like this. We started with the the chariot here in your finances. And then we had the chariot to come out a couple of times. This is something sudden, quick, quickly approaching now or soon. One more. I know I put you through a lot and I apologize, but I never meant to hurt you. I mean, they said they're sorry. This is what they want you to know, that they are sorry. They're apologetic. I'm going to get the um, likely outcome and we're going to close this out. I, this has been all over the place, y'all. Bear with me because sometimes when I do the readings a little bit differently, the first reading, maybe, you're my first reading today and... Um, Sometimes it gets a little <laughs> convoluted. It's like the energy has to warm up or something like a car. <laughs> okay, Aquarius. What's the likely outcome for Aquarius in their person? The person in their energy who is sorry. Y'all remember that song that Mary J. Blige had with Casey? I think it was like, there's nothing in the world. 
I can't remember how it goes. Where how does it go? I don't know, but it, no, that wasn't that wasn't the right song. What's the song with Casey and Mary J. Blige? And this is after they broke up, and then at the end of the song, Casey is like, "I'm sorry," and she like, "I know you're sorry." That's that's what I hear in my head. I can't think. I can't think of the name of the song. It's like from like ooh, the nineties. Look at this. You're not interested. I know you're sorry. That's how you feel. Like, mm -mm. this person is also sitting around regretting what they did. It could be a cancer. They're bored. They're fixated on what they did to you. Because look, they were in the player energy with the Knight of Wands. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person could be between the ages of 20 and 35. Um, and we got the chariot coming out again. This person is coming back your way. But look, you're being very analytical. You're being very like King of Swords, Aquarius energy. You don't want to hear it. It's all about the truth now. And this person said they can't tell you the truth. Okay, Aquarius. So it looks like you are not really going for every time i ask what your response is to them you get a king or queen of swords so you're like you want to tell me the truth i got all these questions and you need to answer my questions so you're not interested until you get the answers to your questions like the video subscribe to the notification bell if this resonated i know it's all over the place y'all but if it's your story the parts that resonated make sense to you obviously right if it's not your story and it doesn't make sense because it doesn't make sense to me um just disregard it Check another placement in your chart. Check another reading on the channel. And I will see you all next week. Peace, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe with the notification bell.